Well, I think uh, we're obviously uh, uh, happy with the win. I thought uh, our guys battled. Uh, it was, I thought it was a great performance. I didn't think uh, we had our our best game at all times, uh, and, and I thought B was great. And uh, you know, I thought uh, Steve Michael was was uh, superb in the net, and uh, you know, our guys dug deep uh, towards the end there, and I and I thought in the Overtime, uh, you know, the attitude on the bench was was great. I thought the guys really tried to dig deep and go after it. So uh, it's a nice win. I thought we had some guys that stepped up and uh, made some big plays for us at important times today. Kyle, we had a hard time. We already seeing exactly what happened in the last goal. What was it like from your end? Can you just take us through it? Sure. Um, I mean, the puck went down the wall, and I saw Jimmy going for it. Um, actually, Coach Pearl was showing us a video kind of before the game that, you know, when the puck's been in the net, we need to get guys heading to the front. Um, Jimmy heard me calling for it, kind of threw it out front. Uh, I got a, I got a piece of it on the first try. I think kind of went up the defenseman's leg a little bit. The goalie kind of slid slid over a tad, and then um, I think I might have hit it a little bit out of midair um, and caught the goalie off guard. And then uh, after that, it was, uh, it was a fun time. <laughs> Kyle, what's working so well for your line right now? Um, I mean, when, when you're playing with Two guys as creative and uh, a potent as Jimmy Beasley and, and Alex Kerfoot. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things that are going to happen. Um, Jimmy obviously has a bomb of a shot, but he also can, can get past the defender. Uh, Kerf's always making plays with his speed. Um, I think it's kind of just a mix of, of working hard and realizing that our success comes a lot from uh, getting the pucks in deep and then and then being able to use our skill down low. Kyle, I get the natural follow-up. Earlier, was, what does it feel like? Um, I mean, we were obviously just thrilled about the win um, coming in. I mean, a ton of guys from Boston, so you know it's a huge game when you play Boston University with them at number one. It's even even a bigger game, you know. Uh, coming in here, heading into overtime, making that. Uh, I mean, it's just it's a great feeling, I guess. Um, Yeah, I mean, I think the returners from that game kind of, you know, they knew uh, that we can be the number one seed, and especially how this year started. We've kind of, um, I think the young guys believe it too. You know, we can beat anybody on any given night. The team we have is, is playing well, especially when Steve's standing on his head. So, um, I mean, like I said, we, we knew going in we could win. We just had to play a 60 minute game, 65, 63. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys had the shot. In I know that can, can that be deflating to teams when you have a tremendous chance like that and you don't get it, but yet it seemed like you guys obviously came back and were able to get a couple of other great chances even before the goals you couldn't count. So, you know, what about that chance and then being able to say we have still three and a half minutes to go in this game, we can still win? Yeah, I, I thought the uh, the mental toughness of the group was, was excellent. I thought, uh, you know, we knew coming in, BU has been a very strong team uh, in the third period, especially. And uh, we had the lead. Um, you know, I think the uh, second goal they got, Steve would probably want back. Uh, but you know, I think it was it was also indicative of uh, the overall uh, toughness of the group in the sense that uh, you know guys dug deep and kept coming. Uh, and over time, I think uh, you know we weren't uh, you know playing for a tie. I think Jimmy Jimmy got the breakaway, and then uh, Kerfoot. Uh, you know, uh, spun, spun our heads around a few times there. Uh, you know, and, and Steve made some huge saves. And, and I think so, you know, in a lot of ways, uh, you know, it, it was indicative of, of our team uh, sticking it out. And, and really, uh, even though we had some adversity with the goal and, uh, you know, some adversity with uh, BU controlling some of the play at times, uh, you know, I thought our, our group, uh, the attitude on the bench was great. and. Uh, you know, it's certainly something that uh, we hope to to uh, keep working on. Coach, it was pretty entertaining watching the two top lines go at each other and both get some great chances. Uh, you're the first club that's kept Eichel off the score sheet all season. Did you approach 
uh, defending him any differently than, or scout him or anything? Or yeah, I had a rosary bead in my uh, <laughs> coat pocket. I think uh, you know it certainly didn't feel like uh, he didn't have points tonight because he. Uh, I mean, he's dynamic. Uh, you know, I've had the pleasure of knowing uh, Jack since probably he's 12 years old, and uh, you know, his skill level, his ability to control the uh, the tempo of the game. Uh, he's he's a tough matchup, but I think our guys uh, tried to be aggressive, tried to uh, you know uh, angle him when we could. But uh, you know, at the <laughs> you know there was a period there in the you know where he had the puck in the you know at the towards the end of the game where. You know, he was looking around, but he was, you know, his feet were still skating around the rest of us. So uh, he's a great player, and uh, you know, and they have they have a lot of uh, very good players over there. So uh, you know, it's it's a it's a great win for us, uh, and and something hopefully we can you know continue to improve upon. Ted, being the number one team on the road, Ned being BC and BU on the road this year, did, did it feel like a statement? Well, I, I, you know, I, I think the rankings sometimes uh, at the beginning of the year um, are, are valuable, but I think for us, uh, I, I do think, um, you know, we were trying to make a statement to ourselves, to our own group, not really, you know, I think BU is very uh, worthy and will be a great team uh, throughout the rest of the year. Um, but I think uh, our guys are really trying to get ourselves established, and uh, we knew that it was a good opportunity with, uh, you know, with uh, them being, uh, very, you know, the number one team in the country. But I think more importantly, I think we were worried about how we were going to respond uh, in our own locker room. Each of the last uh, two years um, that you've been playing these guys, you guys have scored at least six goals, um, and then they come in and bring four new professional defenders in. So what did you see from them that made a huge difference over these past couple years? Well, I think that, I mean, they're playing great hockey. Their goaltender is uh, solid. Uh, you know, they're a very good team, on, you know, for a number of reasons, uh, you know, and, um, you know, I thought their their defense was, was very good. Uh, I thought their forwards were good, uh, as they have been throughout the year, you know, watch them play. Uh, you know, the good thing is I think, uh, you know, there is there is a, not a lot of difference between a lot of the teams, uh, you know, in, in, in Boston should make for a, you know, very exciting uh, game plot. Colin Blackwell came back, and now he's out again tonight. Do you have any, you provide any sort of update on that? Uh, no, other than, um, you know, we're, we're hoping, you know, that he uh, gets healthy. On a similar note, uh, Victor New made his debut today. So what do you think of his performance? I thought Victor was good. Uh, you know, it's not easy to, to play your first game, uh, you know, uh, and, and see number nine coming at you. Uh, 300 miles an hour. So uh, I, I thought he played very well. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think he was the, the one who made the pass to VC to spring him in for the for the breakaway. So I thought, uh, you know, he played uh, excellent. Uh, certainly for his first game, um, you know, he gave us a, gave us a lift. Second. Hey, Keith, thanks for taking the time. Uh, 